welcome or welcome back to Watch Advisor on YouTube, where the watches are the stars. Today it is not only a star on your screen, it is a world premiere. And the world premiere you see is the new Max Busse and Friends MB and F, and it is called HM11 Architect. What does HM stand for? Horological machine, of course, what else? And who's talking to you? It's Alexander. But since it is where the watches are the stars, you are not seeing me. That's the difference in between our channel and some others. You hear my voice, but you don't see me. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Everybody who knows Max Busa, MBNF, it was founded in 2005, by the way, knows that they always, they always surprised with incredible creations. So normal watches in terms of round, rectangular or tunnel shaped whatsoever, that's not Max Busa. He stands for an enormous creativity. I tend even to say he is the master of creativity in this industry. He's really a brilliant guy. Together with his team, his friends, as he calls them, whenever they do something, they do it and they bring it really in a way that you say, wow. Same happened to me when I the first time saw the horological machine number 11 called the architect. Calling it the architect means, yes, what you think, of course, it is some way also referring to architecture. And it is, to be precise, architecture of the crazy 1970s and 1980s. Architects presented concepts for the future, where today we laugh a little bit, saying, ah, oh, come on, yeah, things change. But they were creative, you have to say that. And Max took inspiration from this architecture and created a watch that has four rooms. There's one room where you can read the time. There is one room where you can read the temperature and you can choose either Fahrenheit or Celsius. And there's one room where you have indicated the power reserve and one room where there is kind of an attachment outside of it, that's the crown. You pull out the crown, it sits in between the fingers and then you can adjust the time. The roof you see when you look on top of it, you see a flying turbio and the mechanism. How do you wind such a watch? Good question, of course, yeah. It is pretty easy. You turn clockwise 45 degrees and each time you do this, your fingers will deliver 72 minutes of power directly to the barrel. After you complete 10 rotations, the HM11 is fully wound and features a power reserve of 96 hours. Not bad. But of course, you can also turn the roof of the watch counterclockwise if you want to bring one of these four rooms in the position where you can look at it, either turn clockwise or anticlockwise and do what you have to do, nothing will happen. Can such a crazy construction be it all means in any way waterproof, it can. It is not a diving watch, of course. If you see the construction, it's impossible. But it is waterproof up to 20 meters, plus some security, of course, and they do really rigorously test these watches to guarantee the wearer that he has no problems in wearing it. We have also the possibility to show you some of the parts of which the movement, the case consists. All of these parts, the gaskets, everything you need about the HM11. By the way, if you are asking yourself how many components, I can tell you the movement consists out of 364 components and the case out of 92 components. The dimensions are of the case 42 millimeter in diameter and the thickness, yeah, it's 23 millimeters, but you see it's a special construction on your wrist and also done by purpose, of course. The watch is not completely on your wrist. It is hold by kind of a bridge underneath. What's the advantage of it? First of all, it perfectly fits there. That's one of the purposes, but the other purpose, of course, is also to guarantee that the thermometer on the watch will properly indicate the outside or the temperature surrounding you and not 
the temperature of your wrist. So well done. And look, a bimetallic strip is formed into a compact spiral and coupled with a rack and lever such that the expansion and construction of the spiral changes the rotational angle of the rack, moving the lever, which in turn controls the motion of the temperature indication. As I said before, you can choose in between minus 20 plus 60 Celsius or zero to 140 Fahrenheit. Let me come back to the roof of the case construction where you do prominently see the flying tourbillon. It is rotating once a minute. The balance wheel oscillates at 2.5 Hertz or 18,000 semi oscillations per hour. Now listen, and I can tell you this is a real cool sound. You have to be quiet and turn up the volume a little bit. Now listen. That's an impressive sound. I would say that's the, yeah, we can say the sound of a big block. <laughs> You're laughing, but it is kind of a big block sound, like a V8 engine compared to higher frequencies, they sound differently and not as powerful as a good old 18,000 semi-oscillation 2.5 Hertz movement. The sapphire crystals do have an anti-reflective treatment to guarantee a better visibility. There are two versions available of this watch. So the main plate either is blue or rose gold with a 5N PBD treatment. We had the chance to film the blue version, but there is also a rose gold version, exactly the same watch, just a different color and a different strap. So two versions, how many pieces? 25 pieces each. So um, the watch is pretty limited. And yeah, the watch has also a pretty, mm, let's say an interest. <laughs> it is quite expensive. Let's put it that way. No, no joking around. It is expensive. The price without taxes in Switzerland is 198 thousand Swiss francs, one, nine, eight thousand Swiss francs without tax. So in any country you are exporting the watch, you will have to add either your tax or not. But this is a price without tax. Is this expensive? It's not. It is an art object. It is showcasing some incredible creativity coming from a brand that has started only in 2005 and meanwhile is really on top of the brands that always surprise the watch aficionados, the community of watch lovers with new designs, new materials, new movement designs, etc. etc. Max with his friends just moved into a new location, they finally have their home called Madhouse. Yeah, really, they call it Madhouse. We just visited Max, we interviewed him, talked to him, and we are just editing also this video. So when you see today the world premiere of the HM11, think about also later coming back to Watch Advisor on YouTube to watch the behind the scene video where we show the new home of Max Büsner and friends called Mad. House. It is in Geneva, by the way, and if you are in Geneva, you can, if you call them, if you contact them, also visit if you want. MBNF once again bringing the best of the best together in such a watch and to quote a famous Swiss architect called Le Corbusier. I am sure some of you say, oh, of course, Le Corbusier. Une maison et une machine à habiter. That means a house is a machine to live in and Max once again showed a lot of creativity with his team and he transformed the house for your wrist. A house that you wear, a house that showcases on a roof the flying tourbillon and the movement. A house that is wound by turning in 45 degrees angle and a house that has four rooms showing you either the time, the power reserve, the temperature. The last room is the most important one. It's the one where you pull out the crown in case you want to set the watch. Fantastic piece of art, fantastic watchmaking on top. Creativity is king here. And I have to say, I wish that there would be more brands like Max Busser out there 
to be able to surprise us with such watches. Thanks again very much for watching Watch Advice on YouTube, where the watches are the stars. Once again, you see, it's the watches. It's not me on your screen. The watch is the star, and I think the HM11 deserved all our attention through the video because this is really, <laughs> I have to say, crazy thing. When I saw it, I was like, oh, what the have they been doing? But once you have it on your wrist and you turn, you play, you start to love it in seconds. Okay. Your comments are welcome. Be sure to come back to see the video about Max Busser and his new madhouse. Be sure to come back as often as you can to Watch Advisor on YouTube since here the watchers are the stars. Bye-bye.